hey besties welcome back to my channel today we'll be recreating the dress you see on the thumbnail i made use of african print and i used almost the six years i used five years plus for this okay if you find this video helpful please please just give it a like subscribe if you're new like share this video thank you so for this dress the front panel is divided into four Part. so I'm going to make a sketch now and explain okay so here is a rough sketch that I've made this is the strap which is going to be six inches and this is the band which is going to be two inches and here we are going to have a gathers here attached to the band okay which is the number three parts of the dress and here we also have ruffle at the down parts so that makes it four parts so you can decide to omit the ruffle at the down part and make yours just straight okay so the length i am working with is 62 so six which is the band i mean the strap plus two inches which is the band is going to be eight inches so 62 minus eight is going to give me 54 right right six minus eight is going to give me 54 so this part the ruffle at the down part i want it to be 17 inches okay so you can do whatever you want you can use 10 anything you like so i want mine to be 17 so 17 minus um 54 i will have 37 i will have 37 so i'll add one inch for sewing allowance to that making it 38 right so what i have is 38 so let me get uh, explain again this is six inches for the strap and we have two inches for the band okay so my total length is 62 so six plus two is eight minus 62 um minus 60, uh, eight minus 62 we have 54 54 minus 17 which is going to be this down part here Okay, 54 minus 17 will give us 37 plus one inch for sewing allowance. You need half inch to join it at the up and the down, making it 38. Okay, so this other one also, you can you also add half inch. I mean, sewing allowance of one and half. One inch for folding at the down part, half inch for joining it to this other part. So what you will be cutting here is 18.5 for this down ruffle. Hope this is clear enough. Okay, so let's start. We are going to start with the band first of all so i folded my fabric into two and the measurement i use is my boss circumference divided by four plus extra three inches boss divided by four plus extra inches okay So here I'm going to be taking out six inches, which is for the band, the strap minus six. So here I'm going to mark my armhole. Okay. I'm going to be marking armhole measurement. Okay. So I'll be marking on eight to two inches for my band, which happens to also be my armhole line. Okay. Eight is my armhole line. So you can just, if your armhole line is more than 8, maybe if it's 9, just mark your 2, 2 inches. Forget about marking your armhole like this. Just mark your 2, 2 inches for your band. So when you cut your ruffle, you are going to adjust your armhole to that effect. Okay, I will show us what to do. So here, this is my shoulder line. I'm going to be marking my shoulder divide by 2 minus two inches shoulder divided by two is 7.5 minus two inches is 5.5 so here is my 5.5 so i'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance to that if you want and if you don't want to just leave it like that so here i'll be marking my boss divided by four plus sewing allowance i'll be using 1.5 you can use one inch so i just want to use 1.5 for my sewing allowance and then now I'm going to connect this point together using a curve ruler. Okay, and we are done. So next I'll be adding half inch around this at the down and at the upper part also. 
so here i've done that and i'm going to be cutting this out so you extend this upward to the sewing allowance and we will cut this out so if you notice i didn't add sewing allowance to the armhole if you like you can add if you don't like you can also leave it it will turn out perfectly fine okay so here i've done that and i'm going to cut out this upper part so you'll be cutting another pieces for this for the band i mean the facing so it's going to be a bit longer it's going to be a bit longer than this okay so it's going to be a bit longer at the down part So I'll just trace this out. So here is the band. We are done with that. Okay. So here is what you would do. Right sides facing each other. And you turn only the upper part of it. So now we are moving to the third part of this dress which is the gathered part okay so what i did is times two of my bust okay my bust is 38 this is 38 and i did 38 times two what i'm trying to say is that the front is 38 the back is 38 okay i used 38 inches for the front panel 38 inches for the back panel hope this is clear so this is the part we are talking about so now we are going to be talking about the down part of it the ruffle we'll be cutting the ruffle okay we've done this i say this times two of my bust 38 plus 38 okay that's what i'll be using for this part the front 38 the back 38 so for the down part you're going to multiply that 38 into 2 38 plus 38 is 76 76 you plus 76 that's 100 and something 150 something or so okay so that is how long you cut the ruffle the down part is 150 something and the length is 18.5 just like we said earlier okay 18.5 so we are done with the front for now we're going to go ahead and start drafting the back panel so for the back panel here i cut a pieces that is enough to mark my shoulder and the length i want to work with is nine inches so the back panel is divided into three this part i want to cut now the gathers part and then the ruffle part so the first one is this one i'm working with nine inches for the length and here is my shoulder line my shoulder is six i mean um 7.5 divide by 2 is 7.5 i take out 1.5 i'm marking 6 here so the neck width i'm working with is 4 inches okay and the neck depth i want to work with is 1.5 so i'm going to curve this like this okay like this so at the down part here i'm going to mark five inches five inches so you work with how wide you want yours to be you can do five you can do four you can do three you can do anything so i want it to be five inches rather so i'll be dividing that five into two so 2.5 okay i want it to be five inches wide i divide it into two that's 2.5 is what i marked and here i'm going to mark the same 2.5 or you can just make your curve and it will turn out fine you can just make your curve down like this let me explain again i want the wideness of that back design to be five inches so five because this thing is on four this fabric is on four five divided by two is 2.5 so i mark 2.5 and i'm adding half inch for sewing allowance here now i'll also add half inch to this other side like this so when you mark that you just connect it to the sleeve i mean the shoulder line just 
curve it to the shoulder line the way I did okay and here I'm cutting out the neck line sorry guys I forgot to do my shoulder slant so it's necessary you do your shoulder slant so that your outfit relax better even though it didn't affect anything but just do it okay so here is what we have for the back as you can see so I'll be cutting two pieces of this so here I've got the second one so what we are going to do now is to turn the neckline okay so I'm going to place them right side facing each other right side facing right side and I'm going to turn the neckline using half an inch and I'll also turn the side and this other side okay so here is the front band i'm going to place it right sides facing each other and turn with half inch just at the tip at the upper part okay so here i've done that and you can top stitch on your facing top stitch on the facing okay so here you can put in your strap inside if you want your strap to be inside but mine is going to be passing through the armhole up okay that's what i want to do so here you go and give this a very good press top stitch on the facing so that it will relax so when you place it this way you join the two together at the armhole okay at the armhole part so before you join them at the armhole you're going to add your gather so you gather your material to this measurement okay you gather it to this measurement and you sew right side facing each other right side facing right side like this okay remember the one we are working with is the shorter one which is the band the longer one is the facing for the band so here in case your armhole is longer okay in case your armhole is longer maybe your armhole is nine inches remember what we cut here is two which is eight inches so what you need to do is to come down here and mark your one inch like this and then you recurve it this way and that's all okay that's all you recover it chicken all right so we are done with this front part here so all you need to do is to place them together with the facing and sew at the armhole so that it will be one piece so you sew it together so that it will be one okay so now I'm going to measure the armhole what I have here is six inches so six plus six for the strap is 12 you add one inch making it 13 so in allowance eh? six plus six is 12 so here is my strap It's three inches wide and the length is even 15 <laughs> don't worry I'm going to cut out the excess okay so here is the back part i have torn the neckline i top stitch on one of it the one that i want to use as the lining i top stitch on that one and i'm cutting out the excess at the side like this so after this i'm going to turn it inside out so here is my strap remember i told you guys the strap is three inches wide okay so i fold half inch half inch is going to is going to remain two inches okay so you fold the two inches into two again making it one inch on fold so here it is here it is guys i folded half inch half inch on both side and after folding the half half inch on both side when you measure it you have two inches left okay so now you're going to fold again into two like this sorry my hands was up and you guys are not seeing you fold into two like this and fold so you will now put your armhole inside it like so okay put it inside it and then you sew you top stitch i said the strap is three inches wide you fold half inch on this side half inch on the other side so you now have two inches left and then that two inches you go ahead and fold it into two again and iron then then from here you measure your six inches strap and chuck it so this is where it's going to stop six inches you chuck okay 
so i'm going to start sewing you do the same to this other side so here guys i've done that the i've sewn the strap to the to the armhole of the front panel okay just like i said before the armhole is going to be in between the strap inside the strap then you sew it okay so here i'm going to pass this strap inside the back panel this is the back panel so we'll be passing it inside but it's kind of difficult for me i'm going to use um, um safety pin to pass it inside okay i'll show you guys how i did that so here is my safety pin and i used it to pass the strap inside this back panel like this okay like this and here it is is out so as you can see we have a little bit of excess oh guys sorry my camera my hands were up we have a little bit of excess here so i'm going to just stitch here to make it equal with the back strap and then i'll close it up okay so just push it towards the neckline and shape the armhole so here guys i've done that i'm going to show you what i mean here okay i sew it down so that it will be equal with the strap as you can see now okay but if you're finding it difficult to turn it this way you can just sew it together at the shoulder line and serge and you weave it and that's all okay if you're finding it difficult to do just sew it at the shoulder side and you serge so here for the back gathers I folded my fabric into two and I notched the middle so here is the middle where I notched this point I'm going to bring the upper part of the back now this one I also notch the middle of it I folded it into two and also notch the mid the midpoint okay so here is what I'm going to do I'm going to place it right sides facing each other so I fold and notched right sides facing each other like this notch to notch make sure you're placing them notch to notch and use your pin and hold it together notch to notch so now we are going to be sewing the strap for the elastic casing so here i just cut out two inches wide and i'm going to sew from there to this end okay so here i've done that i've sewed it from there to the end and i also folded half inch okay after sewing you're going to open it up and you fold in half inch on the elastic casing and top stitch okay here it is you top stitch you fold and sew you fold and sew okay so that you'll be having like one inch or one and a half inch wide okay so sorry what i cut was 2.5 inches wide because i want the elastic to have room you know to be free so here is the elastic casing the length i cut is my um boss divided by two which is 19 i took out three inches from that my boss divided by two is 19 my round boss is 38 38 divided by two is 19 right so you can take out three or five three to five inches from your elastic so I took out three and I'm going to pass it inside the elastic casing like this. Okay, just pass it through the elastic casing. Guys, if you have any question, if you're confused in any way, please ask me on the comment. Okay, and I'll try my best to explain better. So here I'm done passing. I'll just go and close the two side up. So here I've done that. I've closed the two sides up and next thing we are going to be doing is to shape this dress but before then we are going to be attaching pockets so I marked from the line I marked nine inches and from that nine inches I marked seven inches for my pocket space so I'm going to fold this into two also and repeat the same okay from this point so from this point here i'm going to measure out nine inches for my pocket space and from that part from there i'm going to measure seven inches down 
like this for my pocket so you're going to sew from here you stop here you continue from here again and sew down okay by then after sewing the down part you can now join the ruffle at the down okay so here is the down ruffle i folded the hem side the down part with one inch and here i have gathered the upper part so this is two of it 76 76 i'm going to join the two of them together okay i'm going to join the two of them together and then sew it round down of my dress okay so now here is the belt i'll be using so you can cut it as long as you want this is just i can't remember the length i used but the width is six inches and you fold into two okay and so close it up and close the down part here close one side of the belt so here is the pocket i folded my fabric into four because we are cutting four pieces okay fold into four like this and i'm going to measure out seven inches remember the width we are using for our pocket is seven so this is 11 i'll just divide it okay i'll mark seven here seven here okay it's just seven inches and then you shape your pockets the way you want so here is me shaping the pocket the width is seven inches okay so here i'm cutting the pocket out after cutting we're going to be having four pieces so you'll be sewing two two okay two for this side two for the other side so you're going to place them right sides facing each other and you sew round this one also the same thing so you're going to sew it round this way okay so here for the belt i'm going to measure in like three inches down okay just measure three inches down and put your belt so me i sewed my own here but i let her change it i let her um lose it okay just measure three inches down from your armhole and you put your belt there okay so this is the down part of the dress i'm cutting out the excess that i have on one side of it and i'm going to be placing the this is the space for the pocket okay so here is the pocket after sewing i left like half inch at the up part so i'm going to hold it this way right side facing the right side on the dress and you sew straight you do the same to this other side you turn it this other way and also sew again okay your pocket is ready so you do the same thing to the other side of the pocket so here is the down part we are going to be joining the ruffle so you'll be placing them right side facing each other like this okay right side facing each other and you're going to sew this round your dress and here is the final result of this dress thank you guys so much for watching please like and share this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask on the comment i'll be seeing you in my next tutorial i love you guys bye